Hey, what's up guys? Today we are playing some Hearthstone and I have some exciting news. So if you guys didn't know, a new expansion came out for Hearthstone today, December 1st. The Mean Streets of Gadgetstan 132 card new expansion is out and guys this is one of the greatest and biggest expansions yet. So I'm super excited about this. Uh, and a lot of people are doing set reviews. They're going through 132 cards and just talking about it. Well, I'm not the most knowledge of players, and that's like a two and a half hour video, so I don't feel like doing that. So what we're going to do today is I have 24 packs, 20 of them are from the new expansion. So what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of do a set review, but we're going to do the set review of each card when I'm opening them. So it's going to be kind of fun, we're not going to be playing games, we're just going to go over some of the cards by opening them in a pack. But yeah guys, once again, this there's a new expansion that is super exciting. And if you want to get into Hearthstone or get back in Hearthstone right now, really is the time. So yeah, guys, let's get started. Let's get into the packs. So I have one Grand Tournament, three Neutral or Normal, and I got 20 of the new ones. So we'll go ahead and get the new ones out of the way. And then depending on how much time we have left, we might talk about the cards in the old expansions, but they don't really matter. So guys, I've never opened any packs of this new one yet, so I'm actually very, very excited. Let's see what we can get. Naga Corsair. Um, okay, I don't know too much about this card, but I think it will help the pirate scene. The pirate scene is not very big. So overall, the card isn't broken. It's not amazing, but it does give a little bit of push to the pirate scene, which is nice. Hose and Healer. The card isn't that good, honestly. Grim Street Outfitter. You know what? That's actually pretty good. If you can get a very aggro Paladin with a lot of small minions, this can be very good. Paladin tends to not be very aggro, so the card itself is good, but considering the class, I don't think it's going to be good. And by the way, before I get any further, I do want to say again, I'm not super knowledge. I'm not a pro player. I'm not super amazing. So this is just my opinion on the cards and what I've heard. Just give me a break. If one of these cards turns out to be broken and I didn't mean and I got it wrong, forgive me. Uh, not even the pro players actually know. this. These cards came out today, so no one knows what's going on. So let's continue. Uh, hidden cash, secret after you... That could be decent. And summon a Jade Golem. Give it taunt. Alright. Um, these two are both decent cards. Again, I don't I don't really know what much to say. Uh, one of the things that I should, probably should say is one of the biggest additions is the Jade Golem. So it's like kind of like a Cthun type event. So a Jade Golem is a 1-1. One, one, but the, the trick with it is anytime you summon a new one, it gains plus 1. So... 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 4 or 5 5 and so on and there's an entire tier of cards that summon them uh, I think it's mostly for the druid class which is like the best with it right now but yeah this is just one of the cards that summons a jade golem but the cool thing with this one is it gives it taunt so if you're already at a giant jade golem you could get like a 6 6 with taunt plus a 5 5 for 7 mana so that's pretty cool all right so let's continue Uh, not very good card. Kind of bad, actually. Um, this could be good. Uh, this is very good for aggro Murloc. Volcanic Potion. Uh, that's a decent card. It's not amazing. There are cards that outclass it. That's really all I'm going to say. There is there's better cards out there. Oh, an epic. Defeas Cleaner. Silence a minion with death rattle. It's kind of garbage. And swap. Alright, oh, yeah. None of those are very good, to be honest. Really, the only thing I'm going to say... I'm not going to go too in-depth, because again, I'm not a pro player. But what I'm going to say is if a car is bad, good, amazing, or broken. That's literally all I'm really going to say, in my opinion. Discover... That is good. For a neutral, that's actually not, not not that bad. That's pretty good. That adds a little bit of more card draw. And you could discover from three classes. 
Druid and Shaman could get some very good cards. Rogue, not really, because if you're playing Rogue and you have this card, then yeah, it could draw into stuff. But on the occasion, Rogue, rogue cards you are, aren't usually very good for Druid or Shaman, but that could be a very good card. That is not very good, I don't think. That... Hmm... I don't think that'll be played a lot. Uh, a 6 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. There's better cards. There's no reason why this should really be played. Jade Shirk and deal 2 damage. This is a good card. Uh, this isn't broken, but it's very good. For rogues, what rogues depend on a lot is card draw and combo with a lot of spells that take off mana and then the whole combo of cards. So things like... Uh, uh, I forgot his name, whatever. So in this case, this would go good with a lot of combo cards, obviously. And yeah, with Rogue, I know you could probably pile up a big Jade Golem. As long as you don't die, you don't get aggroed. So overall, a decent card. But only, obviously, only decent for Jade Golem decks. Not um, for just any card. And that's okay. I don't really know what to say about that one. Daring Reporter. That's that could be very good. That could be very good, I'm not sure. Hmm. A five mana six six. I think there are better cards. I f what are the stats of the Yeti? If it's better than the Yeti, this could be very good. I think this might be good. I think this might be good. If it's better than the Yeti, then this could have some potential. The only thing that's bad about it is it's very low attack and mana. So th this can take get taken out easily. It might be. I think it might be slightly worse than Yeti and whatever the other thing called. It might be slightly worse because I, I think it has a higher power to mana. But it's broken up into three parts. So I think this might be a little bit worse. Draconoid Operative. If you're holding a Dragon Discover card in your opponent's deck... That, that is obviously good for Dragon Priest. Overall, not a very good card, but it could be very good for Dragon Beast. Dragon Beast. Uh, Priest Dragon. And that could be a good card. That's that's a good amount of value for... I, th I think that's a good amount of value. Again, I don't have the entire knowledge of every card, so... Red Mana Worm. Um, this could be a good card in uh, a mage or even really anything but uh, anything with a lot of small spells even maybe rogue but it'd be kind of hard to play in rogues it's such a high cost that i don't know if you'd ha be able to get other combos in there could be good with major rogue maybe um yeah not it's not amazing this could be very good this is the type of aggro card Rogue needs, so I like this card a lot. This is probably an amazing card. Um, this I've this is well, I've watched some other people review th this card set, and some of them were saying that this card is broken. S they were s I'm supposed to be talking about Raynad. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but he specifically said that this card is almost always going to get played in every hunter deck. So we'll see. That's just one professional's opinion. Alright, um... That could be decent. If you if you v play a very control and slow paladin, that could be very, very good. Mmm... Could be okay. That's... That's just troll card. I'm just gonna ignore that one. It's terrible if you guys haven't guessed. Part It has very good attack for its mana, but it's so low health, it's just going to die right away to literally anything. Give... Mm, it's an okay card, and... Yeah, that's kind of a crappy card. Once again, I think this is a good card. 
Um, again, a lot of these cards, even if they're good, there's so many good cards out there nowadays that even if a card is could be really good, it still not, might not be enough to take a slot in a deck. So even though I like this card, even though I'm probably just a bad player and it's a terrible card, which it probably is, even if this is good, it probably won't make it into my decks just partly because there's so many other better cards. Red Mana Worm. Hmm. I think this is a bad card. I think its cost is way too high for its abilities overall. Unless you already have a high... Oh. Yeah, I think the card is good. It's decent. It's not broken in any way, though. Uh, decent, probably never going to get played, bad. I think it's a decent card for card draw. Decent card, and I've gotten a lot of these, wow. Of all the legendaries, I got Finja the Flying Star. Alright, well, we just unboxed, unpacked. Probably the worst legendary. Not, okay, I'm exact. It's probably not the worst in this set, uh, but it's completely useless for me because I don't play Murloc decks. And even. F I mean, this is obviously good for a Murloc deck. It brings another legendary Murloc that can do something. But I don't play Murloc decks, so. Thanks for nothing, I guess, Blizzard. I guess. Just. There's so many cool legendaries in this. You can give me the crappiest one. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. All these cards are eh. Yeah, I'll just open them all. Alright, um, let's talk about this one. It's decent. Nah, I don't think it's very good for aggro, but it's decent. Yeah, I think decent. This is probably bad. It's probably bad. I can't say that for sure, but it's probably bad. I think this is a bad card. And that's a decent card. I don't know. I don't know if it'll ever get played, but it's a decent card, I think. I don't. Th it might not be enough to get played. You know, I might got uh, guys. I might disenchant <laughs> that legendary. I'm just gonna be straight up honest. I might disenchant it. Uh, I've gotten so many of these cards. It's actually kind of annoying. Uh, decent, bad. Probably not gonna get played. Probably not gonna get played. That's a decent card. For a warrior, that's a decent card. It could be a very good card for control decks. I think it's a very good card. For shaman... Uh, for shaman... Jade Golem decks, that'll probably be a must-play. Um, this card, I... There's, there's a lot of talk about this card... It's either going to be super broken. I think this is in the words right now, too. It's either going to be super broken and seen in every deck. Or it's terrible and you're never going to see it outside of this week. And we're going to find out, obviously, this week. Cool. Nice golden. We already talked. And um, this could be very good. I like this card. Personally, I like it just because it sounds fun. I don't know if it's very good, but it sounds fun. Ooh, eh. That, that is good for Murloc decks that could bring... There's a lot of combo to um, buff Murloc. So that, that is probably going to be played in Murloc decks. I think very good card once again. Hmm. Probably not going to get played. It's a hit or miss and decent. Decent or good, good. 
terrible. No one's ever going to play this. I like this guy. I think, I think that's a good card. I think this will be a good card. I'm not sure. I think that's a good card. Don't quote me on that. I've gotten like 17 of those, I swear. This is actually kind of crazy. Let's see. Uh, One of the best cards in the set. Uh, this is going to be played in every Hunter deck alive. 100% sure. I think this card is amazing. Decent. I don't know. Probably not very good and decent. So far only one Legendary and it's the most terrible. Decent for Murlocs. I think it's a good card. Good card. Terrible card. It's okay. Amazing card. Um, I don't think it's going to be played. It's kind of a bad card. There's no health to restore. This would only be played... Mm, nah, I think that's a bad card. Very good card. And terrible card. And I think just okay. It's not, not amazing. Not enough to take up a deck slot. Another one of these. Another one of those. This could be okay. In a control deck, this could... Another one. Uh, this this is going to be almost... This is going to be one of the cards, again, from Reynad's words. That is going to very heavily push Aggro Mage. There is one other card that heavily pushes ma uh, Aggro Mage, and this is one of them. So if you ever play Aggro Mage, that's going to be a card, clearly. Epic, please be a good one. Terrible. Terrible card. Absolute garbage. Yeah. All those cards. Alright. Last one. Decent. Terrible. This could be played. Not very good. And okay. Alright. That is 20 packs. And that was terrible. We did get a legendary, but it was probably the crappiest legendary. Let's go ahead and just open these very quickly. Game? Hello? Alright. Cra oh, I thought it would crash for a second. Eh. You guys, you guys probably know about those cards. Some of those cards are good, but I already have all of them practically soon. None of them, none of those are good. This one's good, but I already have two. Uh, you know what? I actually needed this. Good. I mean, again, these three are mostly played in, obviously, Murloc decks, Druid decks, and Hunter decks. Most of these are played, but not outstanding in any way. All right, here's what we're going to do. Those packs are not going to lie, kind of a little bit disappointing, but it's good. We got a lot of duplicates, so we're going to go ahead and dust them and make some new cards. If my game doesn't crash, hopefully. All right, crafting. All right, let's disenchant. All right, let's craft a couple cards. All right, we got it. Let's, let's do some crafting. No, not card backs. All right, so we got a couple cards here. We're just going to go ahead and look through them. And if I see anything that completely pops out of my head or it pops into my eyes, we will make it right on the spot. So far, no amazing cards that I specifically need. Um, this could be a nice card. How much is it? 100? Hmm. Let's create one. For a hundred, why not? Sergeant Sally, that's another troll legendary. That's terrible. Terrible. Um, yeah, let's keep going. All those are bad. 
Let's see what else we get. Both terrible. I want to make this. I'm probably going to make that, to be honest. That was one of the legendaries that I thought was super cool, and I actually really wanted it. Uh, I'm going to go through the rest, see if I can make anything super interesting. So far, nothing amazing. I mean, I want, again, like, that's a cool legendary. I would have taken that, but... I mean, there's just a bunch of legendaries here. That's another... Nah, that's, that's another legendary. I don't really like it, though. But again, um... Some of these aren't from our expansion, so I'm only looking at the ones... Like, this one's another one from the expansion. This one's another one from the expansion. Ragnaros. Ooh, I want to make myself a Ragnaros right now. But that's not from the expansion. I mean, there's a lot of cards here that I want. But I can only make either one Legendary. I have an, actually enough for a Legendary, which is actually crazy. So we can make even like Yogg Saron, but... You know what I might make, actually? I might just straight up make a Ragnaros. But I do want to... The, th the only reason I want to make Ragnaros is because he's a very good legendary for almost any deck. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and make Ragnaros, actually. Ragnaros is a very, very good card, so I do... I know I'm supposed to probably make something from this set, but Ragnaros right now, he's probably my number one priority legendary-wise. I really do want to make Ragnaros. So here, we'll make one, just so we can say we have it. But again, really, to make the whole Jade thing work, you need all of the cards so you can build a deck around it. And I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on this. Like, I'm sorry. I love this game. But I also play tons of other games, and I am not even out of high school. I need money. So let's look at Mage, see if Mage is anything cool. And of course, as I play more, I'll open more. I was just 20 quick ones is there anything oh that looks kind of cool probably not very good but it looks kind of cool um let's make this just because it seems like a kind of cool secret we can make one more card for any thing let's see if again if something just kind of spots her eye out Alright guys, so I'm not going to disenchant much more. Let's go over to Rogue. Let's go ahead and make two counterfeit coins. Just because this card is going to be completely broken and is going to be used in almost every Rogue deck. I can guarantee it. Uh, probably not for like some weird, weird decks. When the majority of Rogue decks are like um, like gadgets and tokens, stuff like that. So this is going to be a very, very good coin or card. And yeah, I think that might be it for us today, guys. So yeah, we didn't see too many of the cards because only 20 packs. And then that's still a lot, actually. Let's see how much. Yeah, 20 packs is like $25, $30. So I didn't pay for that. Obviously, I grinded through in-game. But yeah, it's a good amount of cards. We saw a couple of the cool cards. We got a Legendary, even though it's the crappiest one. And I said I might disenchant it. I'm not. Just because I, I like to have the Legendary from... Uh, expansion, just so I could say I can have it. Even though it's complete crap. Even if I disenchant, I'll only get like two common cards from it. So yeah. it's fine, guys. It's fine. It was it was fun, and I'll get more packs as we go along. This is literally first day, so it's fine. So guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.